So my name is Brian and this is gonna be my apartment tour uh, during quarantine. So yeah, come on in. So before I get started with this apartment tour, if you guys are new to my channel, I just wanna briefly introduce myself. I am a 23 year old entrepreneur. I actually work out of my apartment. There's a lot of custom things that you guys are gonna see in here and I'm just gonna share with you guys some of my favorite things that I use every single day in my apartment that will hopefully inspire you or get you guys thinking about what you should add in your future apartment or the place that you stay in now. This is the kitchen that we're in right now. I have my basic necessities and I like to keep my area as clean as possible all I really eat on a regular day basis is is rice and eggs to be honest so I got my two essentials right there but as you guys can see uh, not much I just got my regular fridge I do like to keep areas like my island very neat and tidy because there are times where I will be doing a lot of work in this area too just because I think it's really good to change up the environment of where you do work in as long as you're sitting up you know you're breathing if you're doing work maybe in your bed it's a completely different story but Places like this, I find myself getting more creative, switching things up, and really just entering that deep focus zone. All right, so guys, this is my living room right here, and here are a couple of essential pieces that I consistently use as someone self-employed. I got this glass frosted whiteboard right here, so whenever I feel creative at all, this is where I'll be putting down a lot of my ideas. If I have any uh, things like revenue goals or certain reminders I need, I'm gonna go ahead and write that down right on my whiteboard. Now, oh crap, I forgot I had these on. From. <laughs> going down have my air purifier low-key game changer especially if you have an apartment that's connected with your kitchen to your living room this just sucks in all the food smells and whatnot and it just keeps the area pretty fresh so I definitely love these two things right here but moving to the side one of the most important things I think is a decent couch now I don't have something very expensive I don't have a cloud couch or or just anything like too crazy or fancy. This is just something from Ikea that I picked up, but it does have a couple key benefits that I personally really enjoy uh, just for someone chilling. So uh, I have this throw right here. I think this deserves to be on the ground, but it was really soft, so I just put it up here. Uh, the parts of my, I like about this couch is that it actually comes up right here. I can store in different blankets or I have a chessboard down here and just different things. But on top of that, if I ever have a friend that wants to come over or crash. I'll pull out this coffee table I got and I also have this one piece that pulls out that pretty much makes this like a little bed or something. Ugh. So those are things that I really enjoy about this couch. Like I said, it's not that expensive and if it's your first apartment like it is for me, I would consider just getting something that may be a little bit more temporary and then if you plan on moving into a home that you're gonna be living in for a while, definitely go ahead and invest in something like a couch, something very comfortable if you know you're gonna spend a lot of time on there, but something like this, I, I didn't go too crazy with. Now, I, I wanna talk about my tree too. This is my bonsai tree. His name is Jerry. Uh, I just got him recently from a farmer's market in Maryland. Real nice guy, uh, love my tree. Uh, I think it's good to have some type of vegetation wherever you live, just have some type of plant, kinda just bring some life to it. I got my pull-up bar. Ugh. This is something I use to kind of just stretch out my back or just to work out on. Uh, this is a pretty good quality one. I've had other pull-up bars in the past, but as you guys can see, the door frame's a little wide. Uh, so I had to find something that just fit the, the what would I say, the perimeter of this. Yeah, so uh, I got a pull-up bar right here that I use, and then right here is another TV. This is something I actually invested quite a bit into. Generally, you can find TVs for like a couple hundred dollars nowadays, but this one, was kind of up there, I'm not gonna lie. So this was a, a Samsung, I think it was the like Ultra LED. It, it's one of their higher tier flagship uh, uh, TV models. And I feel like that is actually a great investment to make. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on here. I play a lot of music on here. So I use the TV way more than just lounging or watching Netflix or just kind of bumming out. I actually use this to watch a lot more projects or even other videos that I try to find a lot of inspiration from. So uh, moving down the TV stand, I just got a couple items that really just signify who I am. I got this uh, camera right here. This is the Nishika N8000. If anyone's on TikTok, you may actually know about this. Uh, I got a boxing glove because I've been getting into boxing uh, definitely before all the uh, pandemic stuff started happening. I got a book by Jocko Wilkin, Wilnick, Willink, I think I butchered his name, but 
He's another person that I really look up to. He's someone in the military and I just have a easy book that just kind of fits the theme of black here. And then I also have some Bose speakers. Just, I love music a lot. All right guys, so this is my bedroom right here. The magic happens, like I sleep. Uh, pretty much what I have in here, I have my watch collection. I have my whiskey collection and my cologne collection, three things that I really like. Now on top of that, I have my Dyson that I use to clean my apartment. I'm proud, I'm, I'm low key proud of this investment. Ugh. And on top of that, we got my closet, I got my clothes in here, and then this all just connects over to the bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I do like a bathroom that has a bathtub. I think it's like a girl thing for people to take baths, but I'm a guy that really enjoys taking baths. Like I feel like it's just such a good way to just end the day and get some Epsom salts in there. It's not too bad. So this is my bathroom, nothing too crazy. And stepping back, if we connect everything together, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys, which I really like about this place. Uh, I think a balcony is kind of underrated. And this is something that I spent a lot of time outside as well. I didn't really invest in a balcony chair, so I just got this like Coleman cheap camping chair on the side. But here I have my view of this beautiful parking lot and a medical center. So every morning, you know, when I have my water and my book, I can look out and watch the old people going into the medical center across my place. So uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is it so far. Let me, let me show you guys where the work gets done though. All right guys, so that was pretty much the bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. But before we continue to where my work office space is, I wanna talk more about some of the things I missed out on my apartment. Now, we have a couple of things that I didn't really mention. This is actually a canvas from a company called Iconic. Really dope company. The founder actually just straight up sent over a couple of these graphics that you guys do see in my videos. And they work with people like Gary V and Damon John from Shark Tank. It's so awesome that they actually went ahead and sent a couple of this. So if you guys want a Iconic canvas, go Go ahead and use my link down below you guys will save i think like 15 percent off or something on top of that this is another custom graphic that i got done this relates to our facebook group the credit society and this is a really really cool project that a freelancer went ahead and helped us out with now on top of that i do have my 100k youtube plaque right on the side this is really dope because it's just something I can look forward to every day that really just continues to motivate me to just push out more content on this channel. Now, a couple other things I wanna mention. We have the Philip Hue lights installed in my kitchen. Uh, I have this fake marble coffee table that I always get compliments on. It's very fake, but yo, it looks just like the real thing. So don't, don't spend all your money on things that people don't know about. I guess people will know now, but this is another one. On top of that, I just have a book bag down there and uh, some of my OGs will remember this uh, bottle opener. We made a video on this long time ago, so we got that. Okay, now moving forward, just your basic laundry unit in here. And on top of that, I have my shoe closet. It's kind of a mess right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. My shoe closet is a little bit of a... I'm not gonna look at that one, so. I got a lot of books up in here. This is my bookshelf. It is very messy right now, so please excuse that, but I will have a lot of my regular day items. Yeah, this is pretty much where I just throw any miscellaneous things. I do have to organize this, but guys, I'll be real with you. We're not gonna clean things up during this. So guys, as I come up my stairs, this is the beautiful part of my apartment that I'm pretty much paying the luxury price on. This is actually my loft. So up here, uh, I think it's right under like like 200 square feet, not much room, but this is actually where I get all of my work done. And like I said, you guys, this is just straight up raw, like how we're doing it, okay? I have my lighting set up in here, and if you guys are current viewers of my channel, you guys may actually recognize the setup. All I do is I have my light stand up here, I make YouTube videos, and I got my mic that I put up here. On my desk, this is a standing desk uh, that, that works pretty decent. If I'm not in the mood to sit, I will raise this. I will get some blood flowing to my legs and this is pretty much where I work. So we're gonna turn off this light and there are a couple things that I find very valuable on my desk setup. I think one of them is actually gonna be a good monitor like you guys see here, the LG 
4K ultra wide monitor, invest into that. And as someone who, who runs their own business, you can write off a lot of these on your tax expenses. So it really works both ways. Um, and just on this desk, pretty just straightforward thing. I have the Logitech uh, MX Master 2S, one of the best mouses that you can have for editing videos. I have an Apple Magic Keyboard and this is where a lot of the work does get done. So as you guys see, this is pretty much how I leave it <laughs> in most of my things. I'll have a couple books that I'm reading. I have my journal. I have um, another journal on top of that, my headphones. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So um, behind right here on the screen, I usually write down my financial goals for the month or just how much I was able to make. I don't know how much of this I'm actually allowed to show, but maybe I'll just go ahead and erase this. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much like a, a, an average month that I'll have on uh, just from my revenue and my profit coming in. And I'll usually want to put this just so I can get a better visual as I'm sitting here trying to get an idea of my finances. So if you guys are interested in learning more about exactly how much I'm able to make or how my different streams of revenue are coming in or how I was able to start a business, let me know down below in the comments because these are all videos that I would love to make. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and also let me know down below in the comments what your favorite part of my apartment actually was. And if you guys also have any questions, please let me know down below. If you guys want me to make a follow-up video on this, if you guys want me to talk more about some of the things I learned as moving in for the first time, these are all things that I would love to make videos on. So please let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning by. You guys are all so insane with the support. Thank you guys again, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Credit Brian. And a uh, big shout out to Motion Digital Marketing. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.